<laughs> Croatia one, France one, then is how it finishes. Uh, let's take a look at the group standing, shall we? Uh, after this round of matches, uh, France currently sitting on just the one point. Denmark, meanwhile, continued their 100% start to the campaign with a 2 1 victory away against Austria. Frank Leboeuf, what do you want to say about this game? Uh, that it was a very good game, and then, as Craig mentioned, uh, there were ten uh, changes from uh, from the first game and uh, and uh, the loss against Denmark. And it was refreshing, I would say, to see some players like uh, Nkunku, Diaby, also Kamara uh, celebrating celebrating his uh, first cap. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it was nice to see those players, you know, uh, having a little bit of time. And uh, Didier Deschamps explained that because of uh, the time of the season meaning the end of the season and the, the tiniest of some players, they had to make some changes uh, because two games in, in three days. And I think it was nice to see those players showing to the others that uh, there is a real competition. Uh, Deschamps again said, we said that uh, uh, it was a, a, a game for the preparation for the World Cup already, uh, that uh, he wants to make it wide in terms of players to make sure that the list is, uh, is wide enough for, for him to, to, to get the right choices. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, and, uh, and I don't know if the draw is, uh, is fair, but it was nice to see young players um, showing to the world that uh, we have a future. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.